Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Peak dab of the day. Hello, everybody. Today is Monday. <sighs> I'm still here. This is actually the only thing I do during the day that gets me out of bed. And tomorrow I'm going to go in for my denervation. I pray it works. Today's topic, there's strength in vulnerability, not weakness. Contrary to popular belief, inability to be vulnerable is not a strength, but a weakness. Think about it. I feel guilty and dirty for laying in bed all day, even though I have number, literally number 10 burning pain when I move, when I sit, when I stand, when I lay. You have to get a hold of what vulnerability really means. It's really important. Vulnerability becomes synonymous with weakness in our society. We've been taught to feel shame about the slightest revelation of our dependencies. We've named vulnerability, tried to run away from painful emotions or the possibility of a painful emotion. Some of us have our guard up so high and feel that this equates to strength. This is even more prevalent among young men who've been told as young boys to suck it up and be a man. A friend of mine sent me a text the other day, suck it up, right? Only he should be in this body. We build an armor for ourselves, hide away our flaws, and beat ourselves up when we make the slightest mistake. Think about your own experiences. To show our true authentic selves can be terrifying. What if we're rejected? What if we're misunderstood? No, we don't want that. So time after time, we retreat again and again. We go for the beer or the medication. You all know what I'm talking about. We become defensive. It's no wonder we avoid the painful emotions over and over and over. It's no wonder America has become a sick society. But vulnerability and the ability to be vulnerable does not equate with weakness. It is a strength, I promise you. The ability to allow ourselves to be seen, really seen, is what allows for connection, love, and a sense of belonging to prosper, not just in America, but in the world. The power of vulnerability. They've spent decades researching this. You know what it's come up to? Shame is the reason for disconnection. And what underpinned shame was vulnerability. Think about it. Vulnerability is the core of shame and fear in our struggle for worthless, for worthiness. But it often appears that it's also the birthplace of joy, creativity, belonging, and love. Vulnerability then becomes a real paradox, a puzzle. On one hand, yes, it makes us more susceptible to uncomfortable emotions like heartbreak and pain. But on the other hand, it is also where love and our sense of belonging comes to life. We can't have one as human beings without the other. What people do more often than not is try to numb vulnerability as much as possible. Think about it. Yet it's impossible to selectively numb the painful emotions without also numbing happiness, love, joy, gratitude, and the ability to be authentic selves. When you're in physical pain and you shame from it, it's the same thing. You turn everything off. Everything becomes a blur. Vulnerability allows for healthy relationships. You share. It's a challenge but it allows for growth and strength at the end. It allows for authenticity. It helps us feel connected to one another, and it gives us a sense of belonging. And it is truly courageous to be vulnerable. I am Superman with my vulnerabilities. Allow yourself to be seen. Stop catastrophizing. Let go of your need to control. Be thankful. Accept yourself in every state and be patient. You will make mistakes, and that's okay. You will have bumps in the road, health issues. It's okay. Truly believe that you are enough, and do so by cultivating an unconditional love for yourself every day. Don't take things that others do so personally. It's a reflection of their own internal life. Don't teach those young boys what I said before. Instead, teach them how to express their emotions. Embrace vulnerability because it's a courage and we need more love to be cultivated, especially in a time like we live in that's sometimes confusing and dark. Well, I can tell you this much. I lived a life 
being vulnerable. And I decided as a young man, as a young person, that I was going to be vulnerable and honest about it. If you enjoyed this discussion, today's topic about vulnerability and what it really means, hit me up with a subscription. Send me your comments. I reply to them all, although I might be a day behind because of the way I'm feeling. Thank you so much, everybody, for sticking with me, for being a part of the Senior Stoner family. These topics are meant to help everyone, and it helps me helping you. Let's all wish Senior Stoner good luck tomorrow morning at 7.30 in the morning, and hopefully I'll be on this yes, uh, yes again tomorrow to give you another topic of the day. This has been The Real Senior Stoner. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Just waiting for the hit. Cheers, everybody. Have a great one out there, everybody. Cheers.